Hey, so today in this video we are going to make a game in Java, a guest game. So first of all open our Eclipse ID and create a project. So here click on file, go to new, go to Java project, click on it. Name your project, I name it guest game. Because our project will be a game where we have to guess a number and if the number is correct then we will see a message that you choose a right number something like that so name it whatever you want then hit finish after that we can see here our project is created then go to source click on it right click on it then and click on new create a class and name your class I name it is random because we will use random object here and then hit public static void main and then hit finish so our project is created and our main method is also created so all the code we will write in the main method so first of all we will create a random object so we will write random and then name of the object rand equal to new random and then after that a bracket and end with a semicolon so here random is an object and rand is the name of that object and random is an object we have to import it because this is created or this is already created in java so click on it and then you will see wait all right then get the credit and import random java.util file so here in the upside we can see java.util is imported so our random object is created after that we will write sys out control space sys out means system dot 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 print lens and there in double quotes we will write enter a number between 1 to 10 all right now we have to get a input from user for that we have to create another object as a scanner object so here we will write a scanner and then name of the object equal to new scanner and then bracket and end it with a semicolon and in the bracket we will write system dot in so in what is what do you mean by system dot in system dot it means means in 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 input form we will want that data so here we are seeing some red lines so we have to also import scanner object also java.util so in the upper side we'll see scanner is imported so system dot is, is you know what is it so here we will write scan dot next int because we want input from the user in integer form and end it with a semicolon and we also have to store this input somewhere so for storing this input somewhere we have to create our variable so first of all i write choose equal to something but here it show error so we have to create a variable of name choose so i will write int choose ended with semicolon equal to zero or do you want it and not so i wanted the value of choose should be zero so that's why now let's run it So here we are seeing enter a number 1 to 10 <coughs> so we inputted one so this is working now so we also have to create a random number for that we will write rand dot
so here we write if rand dot sorry we have to create an object for that so here we will write rand dot next int and end it with a semicolon and in the bracket we will write 10 because we want the random number between 1 to 10 so we write 10 and we also want to st store this random number somewhere so we created a variable uh, name of guess and uh, we will create it as int guess and enter the semicolon now we are seeing no error so if you want to give the value of your guess number you you can give it or you cannot so here in the if else statement we will give the condition so if guess so here we will write if guess equal equal to choose then we will print a message sys out control space shortcut for system dot 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 print ln and here we will write Congru congratulation you choose right or something like that so here guess equal equal choose means if the guessing number is equal to the chooses number that uh, randomly that the user inputted then we will show this magic message else else we will write else then curly bracket and between the curly bracket we will show another message sys out control space else the if the guess is not equal to the chosen number by the user we will show other message sorry try again something like that and now let's run our project and see what is going on so here we are seeing enter a number so we entered a number so we enter wrong so here it is written try again so but we cannot try again so for we have to regular use of that if the answer is not correct we can input one more time for that we have to use while loop <coughs> so here we will write while and then bracket and here we will write choose not equal to guess then we will rerun this line of code and end it with a curly bracket and now we if we run our project it will work correctly so here enter a number so we entered a number so it show try again so we tried again so it show try again and yeah we choose it right so it shows congratulations you choose correct number so what happen here if in the while loop if the user is not choosing the correct number then we will sh we will sh we are showing the same uh, messages to the user that try again and click a new number try again click a new number so we can also see the random number what is the random number is generated so here we will write sist out and we will write guess and if we run it first of all we can see the random numbers so the random number is 7 so if we hit 6 so it say try again and if we hit 7 so it show congratulations you choose correct number but we will comment this out <laughs> because we don't want to show the user the right number so there will be no interesting thing in the game so try again oh I guess it's right in the first attempt <laughs> all right that's it for this video like subscribe and share this video with your friends if you like this video hit the like button thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video.
So please sab sab kara sara kabar sabara kara hai sara sara kab whatever. Please sab sara. I want to reach one million.